Good news guys, in today's video I'm going to be telling you about a visa category in the UK that you can consider using in migrating to the country that do not warrant you showing any proof of English and you can move with your dependents so if you've got a wife, you've got a husband, you've got kids you can move with them to the country so if this is something that you are interested in please keep on watching because I know you will find it very valuable the visa category I am talking about is called the creative worker visa and this visa category has replaced the temporary work visa and so in today we're going to be having a look into this visa category talking about the eligibility criteria the documents that you need to upload and as a bit of a bonus i'm going to be telling you about employers who are licensed to employ people under this visa category and so ensure that you do not miss any aspect of the video because you will find it very helpful so we'll have a look together on my screen and i will show you straight from the gov.uk website so that you will know this is very legit okay so it says on here about the creative worker visa you must apply for a creative worker visa if you have been offered work in the uk as a creative worker I know someone would ask, what is a creative worker? Now, a creative worker is someone who works in the creative industries. There are over 10 of these creative industries here in the UK, quite a number of them. So please do have a look because you will find that a lot of these industries are looking for people to fill up the vacancies that they have available. And so, for example, an actor, a dancer, a musician, or a film crew member are people who are classified as creative workers. But it is not limited to just this four example. There are others. So please do have a look. It says that you have been offered work in the UK as a creative worker and you meet the other eligibility requirements then you can apply for a creative worker visa and so it goes on to say that you need to have a certificate of sponsorship from a licensed sponsor before you can apply to come to the uk to work the work you do in the uk must relate to the work of your sponsor organization so like i said i'm going to be showing you the list of registered sponsors here in the uk that can sponsor you under this visa category. So it is very, very important that you watch this video through and don't miss anything. Cause you know, I got you and I'm gonna tell you all of this information. So keep on watching. And then we need to be aware of how long it's going to take for you to be able to have this visa when you apply. And so it tells us that you can apply for a visa up to three months before the day you are due to start work in the UK. The date is listed on your certificate of sponsorship. So you will be informed when your, you know, your employer gives you the certificate of sponsorship and tells you how long they are sponsoring you for. As part of your application, you will need to prove your identity and provide your documents. You may need to allow extra time if you need an appointment to do this. You would find out if you need one when you start your application. Once you have applied online, you've proved your identity and you've provided your documents, you usually get a decision on your visa within three weeks. If you are outside of the UK, and eight weeks if you are inside the UK. But like we all know, you can pay for priority visa where you get like a decision earlier, faster, five days, you get a decision being made and you would know if you are permitted to come into the country or not. So there is that room to pay for that if that is what you want to consider so like i made mention before you can come with your family so if you have got a wife or a husband if you've got kids you can come with them and so the next thing we're going to be talking about is how much the money involved we all need to know what the financial implications would be so it says you your partner or children you will all need to pay the application fee and the application fee for each person is £298. After you've paid the application fee, you then have to pay the healthcare surcharge, 
which is usually £1,035 per year. And you have to prove you have enough personal savings. So by the time you have paid your application fee, you've paid the healthcare surcharge fee as well, and you've shown that you can take care of yourself with the specific amount that they have asked for you to show as proof. And usually it's about 1,000, just slightly above 1,000 pounds is how much you need to show that you've got to take care of yourself. Then you have your visa, you've moved to the country, this visa category enables you to stay in the country for up to 12 months. If your contract with your sponsor is less than that, then that's fine. You can stay up to that duration of time in the country plus 28 days because that's what they have told us. You can come to the UK for a maximum of up to 12 months or the time given in your certificate of sponsorship plus up to 28 days whichever is shorter so you can do that and if for any reason you want to extend your visa then you may be able to extend your visa for people who are coming into the country for shorter duration of time say like three months there is another visa category for you to consider and it's on here creative worker visa concession i probably would do a video separately on that if you are interested just leave it in the comment section just tell me mercy i'm interested in that and i will do a video separately specially for you on that one and so they have told us what you can do and what you cannot do with this visa category they said you can study for some courses you would need an academic technology approver and all of that information there you can work for your sponsor in the job described in your certificate of sponsorship and you can do a second job, you know, like all those people that are coming to hustle and you want to get a lot of money in your saved account, you can do a second job because they have told you. And the second job that you are doing has to be in the same sector that your sponsor is and at the same level as your main job for up to 20 hours a week. I mean, if you're working full time for your sponsor and you're doing extra shifts of 20 hours, you can imagine how much you're going to be saving. So you can do that. And you can also do a job on the skilled worker immigration salary list for up to 20 hours per week. So these are very, very good advantages for you to consider. And the icing on the cake, you can bring your partner and children with you as your dependents as long as they are eligible. So that's very good. For master's students who can no longer bring their dependents, for healthcare workers, senior carers who the government have said you can no longer bring your dependents, this is something for you to consider, okay? You can bring your dependent, you can bring your wife, you can bring your children. There is no restriction on this visa category for you. But what you cannot do, you cannot get public funds and you cannot start your own business. So this is something that you need to ensure that you stick to the rules that the government have said. They've given you a lot of perks, a lot of advantages, and they've said the only thing that you cannot do, do not access public funds, okay? You cannot start your own business. Come, do what you have to do for that duration of time. If you need to extend your visa category, then you can extend it. If you get another job in another visa category, you can swap all that and then move to the new category and stay longer in the country. So please do have a look if this is something that you were interested in. We're now going to be talking about the eligibility criteria so that you can assess yourself and see if you are eligible to consider this route. So for the eligibility, you will need all of the following to be eligible for the creative category. You need to make a unique contribution to the UK labor market. For example, you are internationally renowned or are required for continuity. You have the certificate of sponsorship reference number. That's from the employer now. They've given you a certificate of sponsorship. The reference number will be on there. And you are paid the minimum salary as set by equity, pact and back to, except for models, musicians or circuses. And you have enough money to support yourself in the UK. Like I said before, you usually need to have at least £1,270 available unless 
you are exempt for people who are exempt you need to have been in the uk with a valid visa for at least 12 months that's when you don't need to show proof of funds or your employer can cover your cost during your first month in the uk up to £1,270. So if you do not have this advantage, then you need to show that you have got that £1,270 in your account. And usually, you need to have had the money available for at least 28 days in a row. Day 28 must be within 31 days of applying for the visa. So when you are showing proof of funds, basically the £1,270 need to have been in your account for 28 days straight without having any breaks in between. And then it needs to be within the 31 day period of applying for your visa. So if this is something that you are interested in, we will have a look at registered sponsors, people who can give you a certificate of sponsorship in this visa category if you are interested so before we talk about the registered sponsor list we are going to be having a look on the documents that you will need to provide for this visa category when you are applying so first off you will need your certificate of sponsorship reference number which your employer will give you you will need a valid passport or other document that shows your identity and nationality i mean by now we all know that we need to have international passports so if you do not have one that should be your step one go get an international passport because you would need that if you are looking to migrate out of your country okay and then you need evidence that you have enough personal savings to support yourself in the uk so for example bank statements or less your certificate of sponsorship shows that your employer can support you we've talked about it this is where the 1270 pounds come into play except your certificate of sponsorship says outrightly that your employer is going to you know take care of that area for you there is a maintenance letter and all of those things so you don't need to show any proof of funds but if your certificate of sponsorship doesn't say that then you need to get that sorted okay and then you need to show proof of your relationship with your partner or children if they are applying with you that's when you need to show all of the marriage certificates birth certificates for your babies or your kids you need to show all of those information that will show that it is legit and the last thing you would need is you would need your tuberculosis test results and that's because you are staying in the country longer than six months and because you are you would need to you know do a tuberculosis test and if for any reason your documents are not in English, then you need to have that translated as well. So we're going to be talking about the Registrar of Worker and Temporary Worker License Sponsors, people who can sponsor you under this visa category, okay? So if you have a look on here, this was updated recently. It was updated on the 12th of July, 2024. So you know that it is up to date. It is not last year news that you are getting okay so there are a lot of sponsors on this list but because we are looking for people under the creative worker visa route we then have a look and see because all of these ones are showing skilled worker if you scroll th through you would see creative worker visa here and it tells you the city or the location where the sponsor is at and the name of the organization what i would then do in this case is to copy the name of the organization go on google google the company themselves okay you can have a look on their vacancy sites and their jobs and areas where they need people and apply and if you get shortlisted for an interview you definitely know that they are eligible to sponsor you from your home country okay you would also see phone numbers you would also see email address that you can make an inquiry about and get more answers given to you depending on where your questions are so please do have a look i will leave the link to the register of licensed sponsors here in the uk in the description box that you can have a look i'll also leave the link for you to start your application process with the creative visa route 
in the description box as well have a read digest the information if you need any clarity on an area that is you know very confusing for you please do let me know and i'll be more than happy to explain better for you to the best of my knowledge if you want me to do another video on something else please do let me know i'll be happy to do that for you so this is just one example of a creative walker visa route sponsor if you have a look more you would see a bit more there are various examples on here that have been written out and we can see another creative worker visa this is for model management london limited is also in london so there are quite a lot so don't forget like i said google them it might be frustrating it might be overwhelming and that's because you have to copy the information go on google and then have more information from there but it not to be this daunting for you what you can do is download the document if you download it as a pdf it would come as a link attached to it and all you have to do is just click on the name of the organization and then you can be directed straight to the organization's website without having to copy and go paste on like you know a search bar so that's something that i wanted to let you know about so for today i will say again there is a creative worker visa route do consider that if you have a family if you've got dependents and proof of english ielts is becoming too difficult for you to pass this is a category that do not warrant that and proof of funds is not a lot so all the best in your application process but before we go i just want to say thank you so much to everybody who keeps coming back to watch the content on this channel you guys are amazing and i do not take it for granted thank you so much for those just seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mercy and I am currently here in the UK. This channel, we talk about migration, talk about nursing because I'm a nurse and we do lifestyle content and vlogs just so you need to know everything about the area where you are moving to. So you need to know the lifestyle, cost of living and those kind of information that is vital. You need to be aware of that. So this is what this channel is all about and I want to say please subscribe if this tickles your fancy you enjoy the vibe please do subscribe like the content as well share it to friends and family members and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell because that way when i put out a new content you'll be the first person to be notified and until the next time keep being amazing and have a wonderful day